what are your thoughts on AI and and the the vast advancements of technology on human life? Well, imagine a world where you will not need a car, where you will not you will not see any traffic lights because once you have robots driving you, you won't need traffic lights there. See, cooking you can order your cooking. Yeah. Uh, and chemically synthesize everything that you need to eat. Uh, I think in, in one way it is very good. Another way, it's not so good also. So we have to pick what is best. It, but the way, the, we, the way humanity is, it always chooses something that weakens you, mm. makes you weaker and weaker and weaker. Too much dependency on this will take away the inner wisdom and strength that we have. Only few individuals who have made this AI, they will be the strongest. Though we benefit from it, we can will continue to become weaker and weaker and weaker. Mm-hmm. And that that population of AI creators, technology creators. Let us see there will be 10 million people or 100 million people. The rest of the billions will not be uh, as good. They will be simply, as they say, a driver in a driverless car. Mm -hmm. You got to read that book by Vivek Wadwa. It is brilliantly written. And that is the situation we are getting into. There is a driverless car, driverless world. And we want to be the driver in it. <laughs> How is it going to happen? So this AI and the technology, it, it is great. I think it could, if we can take the benefit of it and the time we save. Imagine the phone calls we used to make in 70s or 80s. Now we are able to chat. Not only chat with our friends and others, we are able to even consult. Medically, we are able to get the advice over the phone. You take a picture of a plant with a disease and you are able to send the picture and you can say, okay, you spray this medicine. <laughs> uh, you don't need even or to go to shops also. Now, who knows in the future, they will just be miscotty and the material will come right in front of you. So there are great advantages, but what will you do with the time that you save? Do you have a great plan? If you don't, then the time you save and you're doing nothing will only going to destroy you. So we have to we have to become smarter than the technology, become wiser, and explore spirituality sideways. Make it integrated part of existence. Then there is fun. I completely agree with you, Daji, that these things are not inherently evil or good. They are, in a sense, neutral, as most tools are. It's how humans use them. It's how we choose to use them. My father always said, in the uh, hands of a trained surgeon, a scalpel is life-saving. It can cut you up. (laughs) But in the hands of most people, it is a murderous tool, you know? You cut people, they bleed out, and they don't know what they're doing. So without the skill set and the intention of helping others and value added to the world, then tools, of course, can be a negative thing. But if we put great intention to it and learn the skill set with it, that that it can add value, that becomes a wonderful tool, life-saving. So yes. it, it's, it's both. It's true. <laughs> so true. That's true. So true.